Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and Halo literally, literally just had its like best week ever since like I guess the launch of Halo Infinite. Honestly, it's been pretty it's been pretty crazy to see all the things being added, not just to Halo Infinite, but to Halo MCC. And with that is the caveat that there was a tweet going around that was very, I'm going to say, not clickbaity, um, and like rage, hate inducing. I don't want to name the person. I don't want to give them any more to like publicity than they already have. But basically they were just saying like 343 is not doing anything with Halo anymore. MCC's done and all this other stuff. So it's just like nice to see good things happening to, you know, Halo games, especially MCC. So we're going to go over those changes and those additions super fast. I know you guys have probably already seen this in other videos and stuff, so I appreciate you clicking on my video as well. And if you do love Halo content, make sure you subscribe because it greatly helps my channel. I'm trying to hit 15k by the end of the year, and I need your help. So first off, we'll talk about Halo Infinite. The biggest thing with that is the addition of the squad battle playlist now, squad battle is kind of a, a throwback to previous halo titles but basically if you think big team battle is too much with 12v12 and then you don't really like arena at 4v4 squad battle is basically old school btb it's eight versus eight and the coolest part is that it's on halo 3 maps so first up you have valheim which is a reimagining of Valhalla, and it has CTF Slayer and Total Control, and the map looks good, in my opinion. It looks very good. Then you have Rat's Nest, which also has CTF Slayer and King of the Hill. And I don't know if this is a hot take, but I actually like Rat's Nest in Halo 3, and I feel like it plays pretty good in Halo Infinite. And then we have Kusini Bay, I hope I said that right, which is a reimagining of Last Resort or Zanzibar from Halo 2, but we're talking about Halo 3, and I think that one also looks pretty cool. Now, that being said, I hope that this is a permanent addition to Halo Infinite. I hope that Squad Battle stays in there. I think that if they keep adding Halo 3 maps, that people are really going to, you know, continue to play this playlist. It's been pretty popular. I've seen a lot of people you know, very happy with this edition and Halo 3 maps and the nostalgia and people are just like, yes, give it to me. Now with MCC, man, the dig site team has been absolutely killing it, but there's been a, a ton of changes. Things like Firefight Custom Browser, Player Count Increase, and Custom Firefight Sessions. You can join Firefight Matches in Progress, Skull Changes. They added Halo 3 Escalation Slayer. New Halo 3 Forge content, custom game settings. They added basically Halo 4 campaign and Spartan Ops Theater, which is nuts. They also included campaign collectibles in Halo 2. They have controller remapping and have added modding tools and previously unreleased content, which I think is the thing that people are going to be most excited for. This includes the E3 demo of Halo 2 and the 1999 Macworld demo for Halo Combat Evolve, which is just wild to think about that that's something that we can actually play in 2023. There's also a ton of like maps added. There's Halo Online maps. It's just wild to me. They've also added in some of the wildlife <laughs> into games, new vehicles and weapons, and there's really just so much. I would suggest going to watch Hidden Xperia's video because he basically goes through everything and, you know, he makes better content to me anyway. So just go check out his video. I'm going to leave it in the description. But it's just wild to think that there you can literally just install this stuff on the Steam Workshop and there's no, like, crazy modding thing you have to do. That being said, there's been a lot of talk about bringing Halo mods to the Xbox. I honestly have no idea how that would actually happen. Uh, because the only game that I know of that could do mods on console was like Skyrim. I don't know if Fallout you can do that, but Skyrim has been my only like, I guess, foray into mods on a console. And it worked pretty okay, so it's not like it had like everything obviously, but maybe there's something that 343 can do to kind of facilitate that into the, you know, Halo ecosystem on consoles. But really, it's just wild to think about that 
this, I don't know, it, that they're still adding stuff, that MCC has become this, like, hub of Halo at this point. Things are starting to look up for Halo Infinite. There's been a lot of, like, hires and rehires at 343, so I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, what's going to happen with that. That being said, I hope you are having a great week yourself let me know in the comments down below how you feel about all these additions and changes and whatnot to the game are you excited are you pumped have you played that stuff yet let me know if you made it this far in the video i just want to see you say squad battle in the comments i read all the comments so you know i just want to see who's still you know stuck around for the whole video but that's going to do it for the video ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i will catch you in the next one peace